Hi, my name is Michael, and I appreciate you giving me this time to introduce you to the new X80 autofocus camera. While the X80 is an amazing intraoral camera, it also takes incredible extraoral images, allowing you to document and share all of the activities in your patient's mouth. Arches, bites, uvula. But most importantly, see how the X80 effortlessly autofocuses between extraoral imaging down to the most minute detail of the tooth. Almost a microscopic view. And it does this without any effort of the operator because the autofocus feature does all of the focusing for you, which makes it easier to use. And of course, easier means more use, and more use means more pictures and more productivity. Here are a few more examples of how the X80 easily transitions from a full bite down to the most detailed images of an individual tooth. And not only showing the details of that tooth, but the coloring is correct both for the tooth and for the gums. The X80 allows you to share a through the loops view of the patient's mouth with them allowing them to understand better your treatment plan and the urgency that you are expressing to them about how soon it should be scheduled and completed before more dental issues can arise from something now that could be corrected easily and quickly. These next images are all intraoral and I want to point out that they all have the camera cover or the protective barrier sheath installed on the camera. Note how there is no degradation in the image when using a camera cover. This allows you to use one freely, being your choice. You can use the X80 with or without a camera cover. However, there are three good reasons to use a camera cover. One, patients like the one-off disposable surface. Two, they'll never taste disinfectant or clean products. And three, it helps cut down on fogging dramatically. Please take a moment to look at this tooth. Again, notice how clear and precise the images are, and this is with the camera cover on. But this amalgam looks fairly normal. There doesn't seem to be anything drastic, a little leaking around the margins. We're going to come back to that tooth in just a moment when we use the loom. Here's another tooth that has a strange black spot in it. Doctors I've spoken to about this have said that they would probably try to use a probe on this, and failing that, they would certainly take an x-ray, but an x-ray would show them one view of this spot. If they wanted to watch it, it would be handy to be able to have a little bit more understanding of the shape of this, both the depth, the width, and the length of it. This is one of the teeth that I'm going to show you how to use the loom and the advantages that it provides you in being able to provide x-ray-like images without any ionizing radiation to your patient. This is the loom. This is a sub-enamel illuminator that quickly attaches to your digital dock camera and doesn't require any software changes to use, but allows you to be able to show fractures, caries, and different obstructions and defects in the teeth through x-ray-like images without the use of any ionizing radiation. First we're going to use the loom to look at that black spot that we looked at previously on this tooth. By fitting the loom over the tooth I can move it around and I can look at that spot from many different angles. Now I can not only see the, from a occlusal view what its shape is, but by moving it around, I can get an idea of where it is in the tooth and, of course, what the shape is. Now, I can compare that at a future visit with what I see here because it's all in the record. When we apply the loom to that premolar with the large amalgam in it, we get to see some fractures. We can see some craze lines. But the thing of interest here is that dark spot at the top of the image. That shows that there's fractures emanating from the amalgam clear through the tooth because the light doesn't jump across those fractures and every dentist I've shown this image to agrees that these would never show up on an x-ray and if you can't see them you can't warn the patient about them. 
Here's an example of the loom detecting caries. We see two spots in this tooth, and with careful observation, we can see that there's something going on underneath, but it's not terribly clear. By placing the loom over this tooth, now we see those two initial indications of caries, and then we can see what's happening underneath. In x-ray-like images, we can see the spread of the caries underneath those two spots. Now we can document this in the patient's file. If need be, we can refer back to these later for comparison on a next visit, but now the patient understands what you see and how you're trying to help them. Here we use the loom to find and document an interproximal carry. As shown before, we can move the loom around to document the carry from multiple different angles and show the patient the extent of the growth and display this on the monitor, record it in the records, and if necessary, it will be available for a future visit. And the use of the loom is not confined just to premolars and molars, but it can be used on any of the teeth. Here we have some front teeth that we're going to look at, and we can see from the intraoral camera, the X80 shows us that there are some certain surface fractures, but we don't know the extent of them or how deep they go. But when we apply the loom, now we can see those same fractures and the extent. We can see how deep they are, we can see how far they run much more clearly, and document it, share it with the patient, and again, it's all in the record. Thank you for sharing your time with me, and I ask that you contact your trusted equipment advisor and ask about us. They'll let you know. We're number one in imaging and in service.